So this session is about plants essential oils and making of perfumes. In this session plants based essential oils which are used in making of perfumes and steps which are involved in development of bioengineered perfumes will be discussed. So plants based essential oils find a lot of applications in perfumes and cosmetic industries as well as in food industries and the commonly used essential oils which are used in making of products they include cinnamol, eucalyptol, geraniol, limonene, linalool, citronellol, farnesol and eugenol. So in making of perfumes uh, different steps are uh, used for the collection and extraction of essential oils which may include enflorage or mess so, in enflorage flowers are spread on glass sheets which are coated with thin layer of grease which are further supported by wooden frames. Now many wooden frames are sandwiched one above the other separated by the layer of fats and the flowers are removed through hands and they are continuously replaced until the grease absorbs considerable amount of fragrance. This method is generally used for flowers like jasmine and tuberose. Another method which is known as maceration is used and the maceration involves warm fats at 60 to 70 degrees centigrade instead of grease to absorb the fragrant molecules. In this case fats can be separated from flowers and they can be reused for fresh flowers. Now the grease or fats are further dissolved in alcohol to obtain the essential oils. However, fats should be saturated and they should be odorless in order to make sure that they do not transfer the aroma to the extract. Now during solvent extraction, flowers are placed in large rotating drums or containers and benzene or ethyl alcohol is poured over them to extract the fragrant molecules. It results in the uh, formation of waxy material or concrete which is composed of oil. Now this waxy material is highly fragrant and comprises of long lasting aromatic compounds. Aromatic oils are extracted from the waxy concrete with ethyl alcohol and after the removal of ethyl alcohol remaining material is known as absolute which makes the concentrated form of natural fragrances. Now after the extraction of essential oils perfumes are blended by an expert called nose and the mixture of different fragrances is required in many cases to develop a certain fragrance and this may take even years to develop a perfume formula. Uh, so once, uh, um, once the scent is approved by expert it is mixed with alcohol and the amount of alcohol may vary from, uh, from perfume to perfume. However, uh, perfumes containing higher concentration of essential oils are generally expensive than those containing low amount of essential oils. Uh, now based upon that many Perfumes, clones and toilets are available in markets which can be differentiated from each other on the basis of their fragrance and duration that how longer they can be smelled. And actually it is the ratio of ethyl alcohol and uh, perfume oil which determines that whether it is a clone, whether it is a toilet or it is a perfume. Generally perfumes are more concentrated than cl clones or toilets. Now the perfumes which are available in markets they come with uh, three nodes, top nodes, middle nodes or the uh, base nodes. Now the top nodes are uh, actually associated with the citrus like smells or and the middle nodes uh, are associated with rose and jasmine while the base nodes are associated with the wooden aroma. Another method which is used for the extraction of oils, essential oils include headspace analysis which is used to isolate fragrant molecules. This method makes use of a glass spell jar which is placed over the fragrant molecules. Now the glass jar is composed of material which absorbs odor uh, from the flowers by acting as a trap to collect fragrant fragrances. Uh, it absorbs air in the jar and therefore it can also be used for recreating or associating the fragrances with the location from where they were collected. Another efficient method which is used for the extraction, extraction of essential oils industrially is supercritical carbon dioxide which is very reliable and efficient way for making perfumes. In this method carbon dioxide in the liquid form is passed through a condenser which is associated with a pump which maintains the pressure flow and, uh, this, uh, and the pump is connected with the heater which converts carbon dioxide in the super 
super critical form carbon dioxide in its super critical form passes through the extraction vessel which contains the plant material next in the separator vessel carbon dioxide in its super critical form removes uh, uh, the um, fragrant or volatile molecules from the sources which are collected in a vessel and carbon dioxide is uh, restored in the gaseous st uh, state in the condenser and it is stored in a tank. So, uh, these taste making of bioengineered perfumes from bacteria is also being done. Uh, it is actually uh, the concept is actually that the introduction of metabolic pathways involved in the formation of aromatic molecules in the microorganisms like bacteria uh, by taking genes from the plants uh, is an emerging trend which includes which leads to the formation of pregnant bacteria which can be used widely as natural insecticides and pesticidal products as well as in um, making of perfumes. So, the uh, formation of fragrant microorganisms can save plants biodiversity and they can also free up land used for the fragrant uh, use for the cultivation of plant crops uh, rather than in uh, rather than their use in perfumes and cosmetic products. It also minimizes the risk and other natural factors which are relate, related with the plant growths as uh, sometimes yield is not enough due to natural factors in order to meet the demands of many industries. This is the cartoonic illustration of making of bioengineered perfumes from bacteria. Thank you.